We're here today to show you a shear bar installation in a 7,000 7, series machine. <clears throat> with the Coima Egg shear bars, you get more variety with Coima Egg because we have the most variety as far as shear bars is concerned. We have the straight grass bar, the straight corn bar, the high performance bar, meaning grass and corn, and the double sine wave bar, grass and corn also. I want to talk a little bit about each bar a little bit before we install them. We're going to probably install our HP model and our, our uh, sine wave bar uh, for you today. Um, grass bar. It's a very good bar, very uh, coated on the cutting edge and the top edge, corner coat is what we call that. The reason the grass bar has got the corner coat in it is when foreign objects come in, such as rocks, because you're, um, you're picking up applications, the rocks come in, they like to chip out your carbide, such as a, like if you have a corn bar and a grass operation, it'll chip that carbide away and it'll lose your edge. Well, typically, if it's a small enough rock, it'll chip the front of this and not damage your cutting edge. So we like to corner cap the pickup applications such as grass. Corn bar, we just strictly um, put the coating on the edges so that it gives you the um, wear and wear sharp application on the corn. Um, not a lot of foreign objects should be coming in in corn, but I know what happens, but this is our corn bar. This is our biggest seller. This is the high performance bar. If you don't want to buy Strictly grass, strictly corn bar, this guy here will do it all. It is our highest, most seller. It is corner capped on both sides. You, when you wear this side out, you can turn it around and use this side. It's got the coating all through the center, so um, it really stays sharp. Um, we are highly competitive on this bar, and it is a very good bar. Our last bar, the double sine wave bar is kind of a, it's a new invention that we've come out with the last couple years. As you can see, it's got the swirly sine waves on it. It is a patented that we were uh, able to do. It's got a more cutting surface. So if you string this out, it's got more cutting surface. The reason a lot of people like this bar is when material comes through here and it gets chopped, it gets held. So your length of cut consistency goes up incredibly when you run this bar. Again, it's got all the carbide on it all the way through the top. When this side is worn out, you flip it around and use the other side. All the bars require a wear strip that we're going to install today also. All of our wear strips have two colors on them. They're like a gold and like a gray. The gray side touches the bar. So the gray side will go up on the bottom and it will go down here on the top of the bar when we install them. And we'll show that to you later. So gray side touches bar. This is all of our bars. We're going to install a couple of them here for you. So we're going to remove the shear bar now and um, install the, the coin mag shear bar. So I'll grab my tools here. Okay, that's removing the bar. Now, very thoroughly clean the surfaces before you install a new bar. So it's very rusty, dirty. I'm gonna try and peel it off with a screwdriver. Chisel would work good. Major debris off of there. And I think these little blocks have a good edge on them. Good. Carefully don't hit your hand on the knives.
Okay, that's not too bad. Pretty clean. Gray side up. Okay, the gray side, gold side, gray side down. Kind of a trick to line up all them holes. Careful not to tighten this because the bars are purposely bowed because there's no bolts holding them in the center. So they're, they're bowed up. So if you put a lot of pressure down here, you're gonna start lifting this side. So just start it. Gray side down. All of our bolts started. Um, don't forget these two little pieces. Sometimes they're laying on the floor and you got everything torqued and uh, you happen to forget about those. We're gonna snug everything up before we start torquing these bolts. We're gonna um, torque the center middle bolt first at 175 foot pounds. It's written in the book there. Um, what torque specs to use. So we're going to do that first after we get everything snugged. The outside bolts are only torqued at 66 pounds. So don't, uh, don't, don't tighten them very much when they're out here. Okay, now we're going to bring the Big one down, a little bit more. I have my torque wrench set at 175. Sixty six pounds. Okay, just like that, we have a shear bar installed. Um, pretty important to make sure that all the knives clear the shear bar. Um, before you do a shear bar adjustment with the cutter head running and everything um, closed up, this particular cutter we had to do manually. Um, that's something you guys do uh, every day. So sometimes the shear bars can be intimidating make sure everything's uh, clean and torqued properly and the wear strips are facing the right way and uh, she's ready to chop some chop some corn okay so we're gonna uninstall our 
high performance shear bar. I'm going to back off the bar a little bit on each side. Again, when you uh, take them loose, do them evenly because if you loosen all this side, the tightness of that side will, will bring up the other side because the shear bar is purposely bowed. Again, the gray side was there, the gray side is here, put that on. We're almost done installing the sine wave bar. Um, this is what it looks like when the knives come past. As you can see, when prop enters the knife, they um, follow these little grooves here. They get held as it gets chopped. So, like we've seen before, uh, said before, the very consistent um, size chopping. So let's. Torque our middle bolt first at 175. And the outer bolt at 66. 